Welcome to Scoop Canada, your go-to source for the latest news and critical analysis of the pressing issues affecting our nation. Today, we're diving into a topic that has sparked outrage across the country, the consequences of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's so-called catch and release, justice system. It's clear that Trudeau's liberal policies are not only failing Canadians, but are actively undermining the safety and security of our communities. Larry Brock, a prominent voice in Parliament, didn't hold back when he criticized the Liberals for their disastrous approach to criminal justice. Brock pointed to a recent incident at the Ocean Garden restaurant, highlighting it as yet another glaring example of how Trudeau's policies are putting law-abiding citizens at risk. The Liberal government C-75 legislation has been a thorn in the side of law enforcement and a boon to criminals, enabling repeat offenders to be released back onto the streets with little to no accountability. The vision of the Victoria Police Department, like many across Canada, is a safer community together, but under Trudeau's leadership, that vision is slipping further out of reach. The catch and release policies that the Liberals have championed are not just flawed, they're dangerous. They send a message to criminals that there are few consequences for their actions and they leave victims and communities feeling vulnerable and unprotected. The incident at Ocean Garden Restaurant is a case in point. It's a stark reminder of how Trudeau's government has prioritized the rights of offenders over the safety of ordinary Canadians. Repeat offenders, emboldened by a system that seems to favor them, are back on the streets almost as quickly as they're apprehended. This isn't just a failure of policy, it's a betrayal of the trust that Canadians place in their government to keep them safe. Larry Brock's criticism is not just about pointing fingers, it's about demanding change. The Conservative Party, unlike the Liberals, understands that the safety of Canadians must come first. Brock and his colleagues are committed to repealing C-75 and ensuring that our law enforcement agencies have the tools they need to effectively combat crime and protect our communities. It's about giving police officers the authority and support they need to do their jobs and keeping dangerous individuals off the streets. Let's be clear Trudeau's approach to criminal justice is not working. The data, the stories, and the experiences of countless Canadians make that painfully obvious. Yet, despite the growing evidence of its failures, the Liberal government seems more interested in maintaining its ideological purity than in addressing the real and pressing concerns of Canadians. A Conservative government, by contrast, would take immediate action to reverse these dangerous trends. Repealing C-75 is just the beginning. By restoring law and order and supporting our police, the Conservatives would ensure that justice is served and that the safety of Canadians is prioritized above all else. Before we move further, discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and a variety of daily accessories designed for Canada Conservative Party supporters. Show your pride with our conservative-themed products at affordable prices. Enjoy free delivery across Canada. A report by Global News reveals yet another alarming incident that underscores the failures of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's catch-and-release justice system. Picture this, a man targets the same business twice in one day, and yet he's allowed to walk free not once but twice. Yes, you heard it right. This is the kind of justice that Trudeau's liberal government seems to believe in one where criminals are coddled and law-abiding citizens are left to fend for themselves. It all started at around 8.30 a.m. on a Wednesday when police officers were called to Ocean Garden Restaurant on Fiskard Street. A man had brazenly broken through the front door, causing damage and disrupting the business. The police acted swiftly, arresting the man on the spot. You would think that would be the end of it, right? Not in Trudeau's Canada. The man was quickly released back onto the streets, almost as if breaking and entering was just a minor inconvenience. But it gets worse. After his release, the same individual had the audacity to return to the very restaurant he had just vandalized. This time, he upped the ante by setting off a smoke grenade inside the establishment. At the time of the second attack, about 30 people were dining in the restaurant. Can you imagine the fear and chaos that must have ensued? Yet, despite this brazen act of violence, the man wasn't arrested again. Instead, he was merely given a slap on the risk conditions not to return to the business and a future court date. Seriously, that's the best the Liberal government can do. This incident is a textbook example of how Trudeau's catch and release policies are failing Canadians. How is it possible that a man can commit two serious crimes in the span of a few hours and still be allowed to walk free? It's clear that this approach is not just ineffective, it's downright dangerous. It emboldens criminals who now know that there are little to no consequences for their actions. 
Meanwhile, innocent business owners and patrons are left vulnerable, wondering if and when the next attack will occur. Trudeau's government has consistently shown more concern for the rights of criminals than for the safety and security of law-abiding citizens. This is not just a policy failure, it's a moral failure. The man who attacked Ocean Garden Restaurant should have been kept behind bars after his first offense, yet thanks to Trudeau's soft-on-crime approach, he was free to terrorize the same business twice in one day. Let's not forget the broader implications of this incident. What kind of message does this send to other would-be criminals? That they can break the law with impunity, knowing that the worst they might face is a stern warning and a promise to appear in court at some future date. This is the kind of justice system that Trudeau's liberals have built one that prioritizes the rights of offenders over the safety of the public. It's time for a reality check. Trudeau's policies are not keeping Canadians safe. They're making our communities more dangerous. The fact that this man was able to target the same business twice in one day with little more than a slap on the wrist is proof of that. Trudeau's catch and release system is not just failing, it's actively putting Canadians at risk. So what's the solution? It's clear that we need a government that takes public safety seriously. A government that understands that the rights of victims should always come before the rights of criminals. A government that will repeal these dangerous policies and give law enforcement the tools they need to keep our streets safe. A report by Global News further says that Victoria Police pointed to federal legislation enacted in 2019, which includes a so-called principle of restraint now. What does this mean? Essentially, under Bill C-75, police are required to release an accused person at the earliest possible opportunity after considering certain factors. These factors include the likelihood that the accused will attend court, the risk they pose to public safety, and the impact on public confidence in the criminal justice system. Yes, you heard it right. Trudeau's liberals have tied the hands of law enforcement with legislation that prioritizes the freedom of accused individuals over the safety of ordinary Canadians. This isn't just some obscure policy, this is the law of the land under Trudeau's government. And it's failing us all. The police also mentioned that the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms guarantees every person the right to liberty and the presumption of innocence pre-trial. Fine, we all get that innocent until proven guilty. But... At what cost? When a criminal can walk into a business, cause damage, and then get released only to return and commit an even more serious offense, you have to ask who is this system really protecting? Is it the law-abiding citizens or is it the criminals who have learned to exploit these legal loop loopholes? And let's not forget the additional layer here, the circumstances of indigenous or vulnerable persons that police must consider when deciding whether to release someone. While the intention behind this might be noble, in practice, it has often led to dangerous individuals being released back into the community, putting everyone at risk. This attempt to address disproportionate impacts on certain populations sounds good in theory, but in reality, it can translate to criminals getting a free pass to reoffend. Also, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately, and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Let's be clear, Trudeau's Bill C-75 isn't just about upholding rights, it's about letting dangerous people off the hook. The principle of restraint in this legislation essentially tells police officers that they should err on the side of releasing suspects, even when public safety could be at stake. It's a gamble, and one that Trudeau seems more than willing to make with our safety. This isn't just a one-off issue, it's a pattern. Time and again, we've seen how Trudeau's soft on crime policies have led to criminals being released back onto the streets to commit more crimes. The situation at Ocean Garden Restaurant is just one of many examples where the principle of restraint has failed to protect the community. Stay tuned to Scoop Canada for more insights and updates.